George Cartier. Sir George N.T.A. Cartier, co-premier of the province of Canada, lawyer, rebel, railway promoter, politician, born September 6, 1814 in St. Antoine, Lower Canada, died May 20th, 1873 in London, England. In the years leading up to Confederation, Cartier and his large block of supporters from Canada East, Lower Canada, allied with Macdonald's smaller cohort of conservatives from Canada West, Upper Canada, to create a political deadlock in the province of Canada. They finally convinced George Brown and his supporters to join the Great Coalition and work toward a wider union of the provinces of British North America in the conferences that followed. Cartier's goal was to ensure that Canada was to be a confederation of provinces rather than a single legislative union like Britain. At the Charlottetown Conference in 1864, Cartier led the Canadian case for the Great Confederation of the Colonial Provinces, inspiring the maritime delegates with the commitment to building the Intercolonial Railway. At the Quebec Conference, Cartier argued that the creation of a new political nationality and denounced Rouge leader A. A. Dorian's contention that French Canada would be better off joining the United States by stating that French interests could be preserved under the proposed Quebec Conference. At Confederation, Cartier chose the militia profile with the aim of a building up a national force strong enough to resist any invasion or interference from the United States. A strong military was also key to securing the entry of the Northwest in the Confederation. In these first years of Confederation, Cartier often served as acting Prime Minister during Macdonald's illnesses and played a key role in securing Rupert's Land and in drafting the Manitoba Act, 1870, and the British Columbia Act, 1871. Due to his close relations with British railway builders, military officials, and financiers, Cartier was fully in tune with imperial interests regarding an eventual all-red route to the Pacific and Asia through Canada's huge new territory. Cartier sympathized with the Métis and played a key role in negotiating the acceptance of provinces through their emissary, Abbe Richok, the passage of the Manitoba Act on May 12, 1870. Cartier welcomed British Columbia delegates John Sebastian Helmkin, Joseph Trutch, and Robert Carroll to Ottawa in June 1870 and promised them a transcontinental railway if British Columbia joined Confederation. The delegates had planned only to ask for a wagon road east. He negotiated the terms of union with British Columbia, which were passed in 1871.